This is Mark with Al Surfboards, and today I'm going to talk about how to size, cut, and glue your one-piece carbon paddle that's included with your stand-up paddle. Now I'm going to quickly go over the materials you're going to need for the job. A hacksaw, some masking tape, a mixing cup and a mixing stick, a measuring tape, a sanding block, some paper towels, and some quick-dry five-minute epoxy that you can get at any Walmart or auto parts store for under five bucks. Now we're going to talk about how to correctly size your paddle. Rule of thumb is just take your height and add nine inches. As I mentioned before, the total paddle length should be nine inches above the height of the rider. Use the masking tape to mark off the shaft where you're going to make your cut. And then always remember to include three inches of your handle in your final measurements. After you cut your paddle, use your sanding block or sandpaper to sand off any rough edges. Now that your shaft is cut and your handle is ready to go, simply take your two-part epoxy, squirt it into your mixing cup, and use your mixing stick to stir well. You got about two to three minutes before it hardens, so you got to move fairly quick. Coat the edge of the handle shaft with a nice layer of epoxy. You'll see that the, the tip of the handle here is fitted with a seal that will actually seal off where the shaft connects to the handle. After you've applied a generous amount of epoxy, go ahead and insert into the shaft. Give it a couple twists and line up parallel to the blade. Use your paper towels to wipe off the excess. Also, please note that the blade of your paddle is set at a slight angle to the shaft. And always keep in mind, when paddling on your stand-up paddleboard, the angle of the blade should be pointed away from you. 